Take notes as you watch this video and take the seed dispersal quiz at the end. This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia and Kids Health Net. In the vast tapestry of nature, every living thing is interconnected and each has its role to play. Plants the anchors of many ecosystems have evolved a fascinating array of strategies to ensure their survival and propagation. One of the most crucial aspects of a plant's life cycle is seed dispersal, the process by which seeds are spread from the parent plant to new locations, enabling them to establish themselves and thrive. Seeds contain tiny plant embryos, each holding the potential to give rise to a new plant. However, for a seed to fulfill its purpose, it must first find a suitable place to germinate and grow. This is where seed dispersal comes in. If seeds were to simply fall and grow next to their parent plant, they would face intense competition for resources such as water, nutrients and sunlight. Over time, this would lead to overcrowding and hinder the growth and survival of both the parent plant and its offspring. To overcome this challenge, plants have developed ingenious ways to disperse their seeds far and wide. Let's explore some of the fascinating methods of seed dispersal and the importance of this process in maintaining the delicate balance of nature. Wind dispersal. Harnessing the power of wind, plants, particularly those in open habitats like grasslands and meadows, rely on the wind to carry their seeds. These plants often produce seeds that are small, light, and equipped with special structures that enable them to catch the wind. Dandelions, for instance, have seeds attached to tiny parachutes made of fine hairs called pappy. When a gust of wind blows, the parachutes carry the seeds far away from the parent plant. Other examples of wind-dispersed seeds include those of the cottonwood tree, which are enveloped in fluffy cotton-like fibers, and the maple tree, whose seeds are attached to wing-like structures that spin like helicopters as they fall. These adaptations allow the seeds to travel considerable distances, increasing their chances of finding a suitable spot to germinate. Water dispersal. For plants that grow near water bodies, such as rivers, lakes or oceans, water dispersal is an effective way to spread their seeds. These plants often produce seeds that can float or have buoyant structures that keep them afloat. Coconuts, for example, have a hard waterproof outer layer and a fibrous husk that allows them to drift in the ocean for long distances. When a coconut washes ashore and finds suitable conditions, it can germinate and grow into a new palm tree. Other examples of water dispersed seeds include those of the water lily which are contained in spongy fruits that float on the surface of the water, and the mangrove tree, whose seeds germinate while still attached to the parent tree and then drop into the water, where they are carried away by the tides. Animal dispersal. Animals can play a crucial role in seed dispersal for many plants, either by consuming fruit and excreting the seeds, or by accidentally carrying them on their fur, feathers or feet. Many plants produce fleshy, nutritious fruits that attract animals like birds, mammals and even reptiles. These fruits are often brightly coloured and have a strong scent when ripe, signalling to animals that they are ready to be eaten. When an animal eats the fruit, the seeds pass through its digestive system unharmed and are deposited in a different location, 
often far from the parent plant. This process not only disperses the seeds, but also provides them with a ready-made supply of fertilizer in the form of animal droppings. Examples of animal dispersed seeds include those of berries like cherries, raspberries, and blackberries, which are eaten by birds and mammals, and the acorns of oak trees, which are hoarded and buried by squirrels and jays. Some plants have evolved seeds with hooks, barbs or sticky surfaces that attach to an animal's fur or feathers, hitching a ride to a new location. Burdock, for instance, has seeds with tiny hooks that easily cling to the fur of passing animals or the clothing of humans. These hitchhiking seeds are then carried away and eventually fall off, hopefully in a suitable place for germination. Explosive dispersal nature's catapults. Some plants have developed a more dramatic way of dispersing their seeds through explosive mechanisms that forcibly eject the seeds from the fruit or seed pod. This method is often triggered by touch or by the drying and splitting of the seed pod. The impatience plant, also known as touch-me-not, has seed pods that when ripe, explode at the slightest touch, catapulting the seeds up to several metres away from the parent plant. Similarly, the sandbox tree has large, woody fruits that, when dried, split open with an audible crack, launching the seeds at high speeds. The importance of seed dispersal. In ecosystems, Seed dispersal is not only crucial for the survival and propagation of individual plant species, but also plays a vital role in maintaining the health and diversity of entire ecosystems. By enabling plants to spread their offspring across a wide area, seed dispersal helps prevent overcrowding and competition for resources. This allows for a more diverse array of plants to coexist in a given habitat which in turn supports a greater variety of animal life. The complex interplay between plants, animals and their environment is essential for the stability and resilience of ecosystems. Thanks for learning. Now it's time for that quiz. This seed dispersal quiz consists of 10 questions. Good luck.
Don't forget to subscribe.